Hey guys, how you doing? It's Cody here. Today we're going to try some more Czech food. I thought I would just give it a go. We'll go to the shop and find 10 different snacks and we're going to rate them out of 10. Let's go. We're just doing our shopping and we're just waiting for mum to come meet us. Um, so I'm going to have a quick beer at the hospital. And uh, I think I've got 10 minutes, so I think that's at least two beers. <laughs> a nice warm up before my, uh, for trying these Czech snacks. First one's down the hatch. Uh, this is one of my favorite beers actually. Mzhenak, Mzhenak, Mzhenak. I can't pronounce it properly. Sorry, Czech people. Um, but this is one of my favorite ones here in my town. Mas <laughs> dobry. Um, so I'm a really great dad here. Um, I didn't bring Matilda any um, toys, so I've just given her my sunglasses. So that's, you know, if you're a dad with a need for a toy, you've got something on you. A hat, a phone, sunglasses, a wallet. Kids love money, so yeah. Managed to get beer number two. I think I pronounced it a little bit better. Um, yeah, two beers, 10 minutes, not bad. All right, my friends, we are back. We're gonna try some more Czech food today. I thought uh, so many of you liked the video last time when I ate Czech food for a day. I thought that I would try um, 10 Czech snacks and I'm gonna rate them out of 10. What do you think? Let's go. First one, drink number, oh. Food number one. First one here is Chesnek Over Bramboriki, which is garlic flavored potato chips. They're actually made in Strasnice, which is quite close to where I live. So they're very local. I've heard a lot about these chips, so we're gonna give them a go to see if they're tasty or not. They're big. Oh, wow. Wow. I've never heard of garlic flavored chips before, but they're so flavorful and so strong. Like so much garlic and salt flavor. It's, it makes the perfect flavor for a chip. I'm gonna rate this one a nine out of 10. If you're in the Czech Republic, definitely try garlic flavored chips. Food number two. All right, what else do we have here? Um, I decided to get a couple of drinks as well, just to give them a go. I have Malina Zon, which is a raspberry flavored drink made in the Czech Republic. Give it a go. Nice to be. Wow, it's definitely got a lot of flavor. Lots, really delicious, not so sweet. Not like sweet like Coca-Cola or Sprite, like a really nice raspberry flavor to it. I would definitely drink this again, for sure. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Food number three. Um, I went for, I guess it's pretzels. They're Bohemia brand um, pretzel sticks, but these ones have cheese in them. And I, I like pretzels, so I'm sure I'm gonna like these. Let's give them a go. Mm, they smell a little cheesy. I'm wondering if it's cheese salts or like cheese inside or I'm sure we'll see Mmm, can definitely taste the cheese. They don't have the saltiness that the pretzel would normally have. I'm not even sure if they are pretzels I've just assumed they were but they're thin little sticks and they're really really delicious. I would eat these again I'm gonna give these ones a 7 out of 10. Food number 4 the Czech Republic has so many snacks. Some of them strange, some of them weird. I've just picked a few of them from the shop, but if you have any ideas of any different snacks I can try, leave something in the comments. I will get back to you and I'll try my best to make a video with it. 
Uh, I've got a mixture of sweet and savory food just to get a, a gauge of what is good and what is not. So maybe we should try something sweet. I've got Fernig here. Sevestka, which means it has plum in the middle. The picture, it looks like bread and some stuff in the middle and chocolate. Let's give it a go. I didn't really expect it to look like that, but it looks delicious. Give it a go. Mm. It's kind of strange, like the middle, you would kind of expect it to be like a cake, but it's in between a cake and a biscuit, so it's kind of like dry, but it's moist at the same time. That's a weird description, but it's a weird snack. The, pl the plum's really nice in the middle, but I don't think I would have this again. I'm gonna give this one a four out of 10. Next, food number five. Uh, next snack here is a little bit strange for me. It's called a Ruske Weize. Which I think is Russian egg, so maybe it's not Czech, but I definitely found it in the shop in Czech. If you have a little look at it, what do we got here? We got ham, peas, egg, capsicum, gherkin, and there's like a mayonnaise salad on the bottom. Should we give it a taste? I think so. I didn't bring a fork. For fork's sake, one second. Fork! All right, let's have a little dig in there. So at the bottom, Seems to be a potato salad, mayonnaise based, can't go wrong. Mmm, really sweet, mayonnaise flavour, uh, potatoes, pickles, capsicum, really delicious. Half an egg, mmm, it tastes like egg. <laughs> and some ham, I'll mix it all together. Egg, ham, pickle, this is a big bite. I would definitely eat that again. Rusko egg, let's give it an eight out of 10. Uh, if you like mayonnaise, then you're gonna like Czech uh, salads because a lot of Czech salads are just mayonnaise. My idea of a salad is a little bit different, but it's delicious nonetheless. So, next! Food number six. If you've ever been to the Czech Republic, which more of you should go to the Czech Republic and not just go to Prague, go to other places, that's my advice. They have the best flavored chips ever. I have tried these before, but I thought I'm gonna show you what they are and show the world how good they are. Horčice Bramborki, which is mustard flavored chip. Mm-hmm. They smell like mustard. Yet to all hen. I try to say it is fire in Czech, but I'm not sure if my translation would be correct. They're kind of salty and sweet. If you lived in Australia, they would be close to chicken chips. They have a little bit of spice and a little bit of sweetness that makes them just a little bit different. It's just not all salt. It's a mixture of a little bit spicy, salty, and sweet. Really, really great flavor of chips. I'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10. But I highly recommend these. I think it's time for the next snack. What do you think? And again, if you think there's any better snacks out there, leave something in the comments. I'm always listening and I'll, I will always write back to you. Food number seven. Next snack we have here. It's like a little coin. Fedorka, which is some kind of chocolate. It says, Malechna se ojiškovo. Napolini, which I do not understand. It's some kind of chocolate with hazelnuts. I'm figuring out that out from the picture. It's really hard to unwrap. It reminds me of like a hockey puck. If you've ever played hockey. It smells nice and sweet. Fedorka. Oh wow. It's got like wafers and chocolate in the middle. I would compare it close to a Kit Kat, like a better tasting Kit Kat, with maybe hazelnut flavor. Mm. I'm a massive lover of chocolates, so I'm gonna rate this one an eight out of 10, like quite high. If you like Kit Kat, then you're gonna like Fedorka. Food number eight. Next, I got another drink. I have not seen this before, so this is called Relax. Shihut Lychee, it's a lemonada which is Czech for lemonade. If you, go to a lot, if you go to a lot of places in the Czech Republic, um, I'm meaning like restaurants or bars, they always have like a homemade lemonade of a different flavor, they always mix it up. So I think Czech people are well known for making lemonade. So we're gonna give this one a taste. And I love lychee. Nostrovi. Oh! 
Hmm. We. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna set straight up rated nine out of ten. That's one of the best uh, soft drinks I've ever had. For sure, nine out of ten. Done. Done and dusted. Next. Uh, that's food number nine. And food number ten. I saved two check favorites for the ends, so we got number number nine and number ten. Um, number nine is Olomots Tvarushki, which is a smelly cheese made in Olomots, which is about one and a half hours from where I live, and it's very famous in the Czech Republic. <laughs> it smells like feet. I guess you can't smell it through there, but you imagine just smelling feet. That's what this smells like. So the best way to eat this, I have heard, is just with some bread and some onion. So we're gonna give it a go. Got my little bread here. I've got some raw onions, so be careful of your breath. Breath alert. Um, stinky cheese, onion, and bread. Mmm. There's so much flavor going on with the cheese. It's quite smelly, and I think Czech people like to mature the cheese for a little bit longer. Um, this one is quite young, you can see because it's because it's still kind of orange. But I think Czech people like it when it goes a little bit whiter and a little bit more mold. So maybe I should age this and then try it again. But I think it's absolutely beautiful just the way it is now. Highly recommend that cheese. I'm gonna give the cheese a 9 out of 10, but like really high up there. Um, definitely try it if you come to the Czech Republic. You will see it in supermarkets everywhere. Really deep, really deep flavor and really delicious. Last one! Oi! Oi! I wish I didn't do that. Last one we have here is a roll of meat made from the pig. It has like feet, tongue, insides, pork. Well, it's all pork. But if you have a little look at it, it's put together with a kind of gelatin. And it's very popular in the Czech Republic. It's called Tlachinka. So this is the 10th uh, Czech thing I'm gonna try today. And the last one, Tlachinka. It's kind of weird. Like it's pretty, it's, it's pretty solid. <laughs> you kind of wonder how it sticks together. Um, well, I guess that's the, the gelatin. It's, it doesn't smell bad, but I've heard you, it's best to try on bread and it's best to try uh, also with some vinegar. So let's give it a go. Got my bread, got my tlachenka. Maybe I'll put an onion on there. Um, yeah, double hood. It has such a deep flavor with all the herbs and spices in the mixture. The meat's really nice, it's really tender. Uh, I also don't know what the meat is, so I guess that's a little bit scary. Um, it's delicious. It's really delicious. All right, I'm gonna try it with some vinegar. I'm just gonna dip it in like a, like a, like a kind of sauce. Mm. It's a strange meat that I would probably never eat in Australia, but I know everybody here likes it, so I had to give it a taste, and I am not disappointed. It's absolutely delicious. I would give this one a nine out of 10. It's really, really good. That's the end of my video for today. I'm here, living here, and I want everyone to experience the same thing. So, thanks for watching, and more videos coming soon. Stay by for the video next week. Catch you later. Bye.